Hi everybody, I'm Steve at Your Creation Station, and it's story time. Today we're reading the story of Skeleton for Dinner. So this is a cool one, I really enjoyed it, uh, and I'm sure you will too. And it's, um, it, this is the story of what happens when you have Skeleton for Dinner. So without further ado, we'll jump right in. All right, so this is by Mary Cooler. I think that's how you say it. And it's illustrated by Will Terry. This is for Sour with Love, MC, and for Betty for, by WT. All right, here we go. One day, Big Witch and Little Witch decided to brew a stew. They added all their favorite ingredients, shark fins and snake skins and spider silks and centaur's milk, catfish whiskers and banshee blisters. Ooh. Where do you even get those? Big Witch took a taste. This is so yummy, she said. Let's invite our friends for dinner. What fun, said Little Witch. I'll make a list. Ghost, ghoul, and skeleton, boomed Big Witch. We must have skeleton for dinner. Just then, skeleton was clickety clacking up the hill. Here he is. As he reached the top, he saw Little Witch's list pegged to a tree. He heard what Big Witch said to Little Witch. I think you want to have me for dinner, cried Skeleton. I don't want to be eaten. His bones began to shake and quake, or quake and shake. <laughs> there he is on the list. Before the witches saw him, he rat-a-batter-tattered <laughs> rat a bat tatted down the hill and jingle jangled as fast as he could to ghosts. The witches want me in their stew and they want to eat you too, he screeched. Oh no, wailed ghost, and she floated after skeleton. Hmm. They scooted by the graveyard where Ghoul was shoveling dirt. Where are you going in such a hurry, he asked. The witches want us in their stew, and they want to eat you too, said Skeleton. Yikes, shouted Ghoul. Let's go hide, and he dashed after the others. Back on the hill, Little Witch said, I'm off to invite our friends for dinner, and away she flew on her broomstick. Hmm, with a frog. But when she got to Skeleton's, he was nowhere to be seen. Maybe he's a ghost, thought Little Witch. But she didn't see anyone at Ghost's house either. I bet they're all the ghouls, thought Little Witch. She zoomed to the graveyard. It was as quiet as the moon. Where is everybody, said Little Witch. How can I invite our friends for dinner if they've all disappeared? Well, you see how this is shaping up? She flew back to the top of the hill. I couldn't find anyone at home, she told Big Witch. I guess we'll have to eat our stew all by ourselves. I was really looking forward to our party. She took down the sign and began to cry. Ah. Crow flew down and picked it up. I think I know what's wrong, he cawed, and off he flew, flapping his wings. He went to skeletons. No skeleton. He went to ghosts. No ghost. He went to ghouls. No ghoul. And then he saw footprints leading into the woods. The spooky, spooky woods. He followed them to a big tree. Up, up, up he flew. What are you doing here? asked Skeleton. I came to tell you that the witches want you to come for dinner. You mean you want to eat us for dinner, said Skeleton. Their ghost and ghoul are hanging out in the back there. He looks scared, too. Nah, 
They want to have you for dinner, said Crow. That means invite you for dinner. Oh, said Skeleton. Well, that's different from what I thought. I'm hungry. Let's go. So Skeleton, Ghost, and Ghoul came down from the tree. They picked up some poison ivy to take to the witches for their stew. When they got to the top of the hill, the witches were so happy to see them, their faces lit up like jack-o'-lanterns. Come and eat, shouted Big Witch. Have a, sheet, have a seat, shouted Little Witch. And we'll give you a treat, said both witches together. It looks so yummy, said Skeleton, that I wish I had a tummy. <laughs> I guess it can't be yummy in his tummy without a tummy, huh? Hmm. And they all had fun eating the witches' stew together. Look at that. So how about that? Turns out, skeleton for dinner, um, and skeleton was coming over for dinner. He wasn't part of the, uh, the main course. Um, so that's it. Uh, hope you guys have a good day, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the story. Thanks.